Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today's point of interest is Old Spanish House number one. This is a difficulty tier three POI and could be obtained from the trader for a clear or fetch quest. Well, here we have Old Spanish House number one with a great and lovely piece of paper out the front as per. It is a huge POI though, massive um thing here going on which is the teensy little house kind of in the middle we'll have a look around the grounds and uh we'll see what's going on it is a t3 though because there's a lot going on downstairs but let's keep on going around we see a bit of cobble there and around here well it's all rather plain if you're coming at it from this direction it doesn't look too much at all to be fair there is a little balcony area with a locked door no barbecues, nothing like that. Expect that at a Spanish property. A bit of outdoor dining. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, Mrs. Rabbit. I haven't checked. I can't get close enough. Ah, can we get our egg for the day? Hey, two of them. What a day that is. So, possibility of the book. Bit of rubbish out the front. One bit of cobble. And that is about it. We have a door here that is unlocked. All of those are locked. Was there one more or was I going crazy? No, I think that was it. So it looks like, oh, there's the grill. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just go in and see what happens. We've got an obvious little secrety bit there. Um, oh, a cooking pot, very lovely. I'm waiting for some lunatic to try and eat my face off. But anyway, we'll go straight in here. We've got a sink, trash, microwave, all the business. You know, the usual kitchen gubbins where we're trying to find all the nice things um, like a grill. But there we have it right in front of us. A lovely cooking pot straight away. So a little food pile as well. I'll have some of that with a bit of dog food. And oh, hello. Oh, you're here. Don't you dare puke on me, you horrible man. There we go. He's down. And we'll take this fella off as well. Oh, wow. Okay, that hurt. Um, Some bit of clay. I was hoping for something else there. A bit of leather. Mm, that's about it, you know. So hopefully in the trash we'll get a little bits and bobs. We've not got, got a nice foyer area. We'll smack Ben in the face and grab the trash. And what about this lady up here? Nope, nothing there. So one fella was hiding in here. And... There is a cabinet too. So we got a locked door. A locked door with a broken bit. It means come on in as you know. Hello. No one is in here. But we have more paintings to look at. Beds to wrench. And a nice clothes pile. Sometimes good things. Just a pink suit. Oh well. And it looks like we're behind these double doors that we saw from outside. Okay. Bit of trash. Bit of this. Bit of that. We've got a, a door and it goes downwards. So I won't go through that yet. There's the other door to the outside. And in here, whoa, we'll get rid of this fella properly. Nice sink in here. Uh, bathtub filled with goo. And, of course, come on, hands down. What are we going to get? Uh, more paper. Okay, well, it's a, it's a pretty little thing. But for a tier three, we haven't exactly, um, you know, come across much. But this is where it does happen because we are going down, down, down to the depths of this POI where there is a bunker of all bunkers, to be fair. And I would say that most people come here and don't quite know what's going on. Look at your silly pathing. Look at your silly pathing. He hasn't even woken up. We could, uh, should we, whoa, hey, bang. There we go. I think that's it. So you kind of get to this position. You go, well, that's a nice little house. Very nice. What's around here? Um, bit of cobble. But if you notice, look at that. Mmm, sneaky cheeky little hole. So you dig up all this business, and if you do notice it, then you think, what is going on? And you may then go, aha, I have found the door. And look at that. What a what a cool little bunker that is. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else funky at all in this little wine cellar, but no. So we have to break on through this little crate here, or this little barrel, should I say, and we are back in business. So more resources yet again. We can just about see out here. Let me crouch down here. What have we got? There must be something upstairs. But this is all openable. And we are going down here. This now feels like a tier three, doesn't it? All this steel everywhere. It's going to get busy very quickly, I'm sure. Come on. Hello? Anyone want to eat? No, not yet. Okay. And we're to drop from the ceiling. No. Mm, it's a bit... Mm, I'm a bit scared now. I'm a bit scared. Come on, in we go. Anyone in here? Oh, still no one in here. Okay. Um, can I see anyone? No. Okay, keep going. Is there... Oh, oh. Are you just not going to wake up? So I could just get my bow and... Splot your head off. And... Splot your head off. And... 
splot your head off. And we up. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can get that fella as well. Oh, these bows and arrows. I used to be so good at these. And this recently, in one of the recent updates, it's just made it very horrible for me. Well, I've got a couple of them. I've got drop loot. A couple of my arrows back. Bit of drop loot. Look at that. Nice mining helmet there. Um, I'm sure there'll be more. Come on, I'll grab that arrow. Um, and look at all this. Bones and goo and stuff to farm with. My God, I, I love farming with human remains. Oh, gorgeous. So, resource galore. That is a locked door behind one of these things. So, it might be worth digging that out. We might have to use that one later. Um, did we go in there? No, we didn't. So, there was no direction this way. We've got an open door in here. And we've got more doors over here. Let's just check. That one is actually locked. That one is actually locked. So, yes, we are forced around this part of the POI into this room. More cobble. Like, the amount in this place is gorgeous. Leading us straight through into some kind of unnerving little room. I pick up my chairs. I come around here. Ooh, a nice iron desk with a motorcycle chassis. Brilliant. And something is going on up here. So, we're not going anywhere, but there is a little ladder. And the little ladder takes us up here. And we are trying to get over to this direction. If you do take a little deep breath, you can come up here. And there is a bit of trash. Oh yes, we'll have that extra bit of loot before we continue through this system. And we've woken someone up. Um, okay, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'll just stand here whilst you think about it. And uh, anyone behind me? It feels like someone's behind me. Okay, this must be in here. We're going to go back over here. We're going to start clobbering. Bye-bye, scientist lady. Sorry about that. Is that someone else? Yeah, I think that might be a local, to be fair. Uh, we'll open this one up. Oh, God, there's more in here. There's more in here. Hang on. Was, was this the room? This is the room we were in. Oh, I missed one of them. So we could come through this way. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, a bit more trash underneath here. And then we continue up and around. Any of these going to break out? Find anything behind them? No, I don't think so. Worth a look, though. Worth a look. And we continue up and... Okay, we're on some kind of overhead bit. Okay, I didn't quite see that before. That's cool. More cobble, like a bazillion. Sound traps everywhere. This is going to happen now, isn't it? There we go. Scientist. Dude. Ow, lady. Um, oh, come on. Bosh in your face. Another bag. Gosh. Recently, I'm getting lucky. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, don't hit it. Click the right button, you wally. A treasure map. Some bullets. Well, hey. So, another kitchen. A second chance for a bit of acid and all the lumps of bits and bobs such as foods and grills and whatnot. Very nice. Nothing hiding up there. And yet more cobble. Brilliant. Also chemistry sets which feature quite a bit in this POI. So we can have a look in there and grab a few bits and bobs. No books for us today though. Oh, did I have a look in there? I did, didn't I? That treasure map. I really want to do one of those one day. They're quite good fun, aren't they? I haven't, I haven't done one for a while. So let's just jump down here. And is this going to be all hell breaking loose? No. So I'm going to I'm going to not grab my arrows. I'm going to grab my bow and see what we can get rid of here. Having a look around. Anyone else? Yeah, there's another one. Oh, well, might as well make life a little bit easier. There's an unlocked door behind me, um, but we'll go for the lockers. Oh, God, that woke someone else up. Are they going to are they gonna come out from behind here? No, I don't think they are. Whoa, lady. Oh, I thought I saw a hand there. I swear I saw a hand there. That freaked me out for a little bit. Um, what do we got? More unlocked doors, more locked doors, uh, another locker. Oh, nice shades. Nice. Okay, so we're not going to go this way. We could go that way, or we could turn back on ourselves. Cloth galore, beds galore, all that kind of stuff to, to kind of get wrenching and whatnot. I don't think anything's secretly hidden around anywhere. Might be something in the floor somewhere, I don't know. But we can't even look at those little flip-flops there. So let's go in this one. What do we have? Oh, we have one... Sorry... I disturbed your shower. And um, there we go. There's a shower of blood for you. So this looks like it should have something in it, but I don't think it does. And around here we have a medical cabinet. And then, of course, you know what I want. Call it gun. No, not at all. Trash bin too. And we have a nice little uh, little room in here. Very good. Very good. Just break through. Just have a check. Nope. Okay. So it looks like we're going this way. What's that? Is that my arrow? Thank you. Oh, there is a clothes pile. Nice. We'll have a bit of cloth. Oh, be more lucky. I'm, I'm lucky with the bags that they pop out of. I don't know where they keep them in their bottom or something. But uh, um, oh, final loots, final loots. But uh, normal stuff. I don't seem to get very well. Let's see what we're going to get in these boxes. Or oh, immediate wake up. We got a few of them. We have a. Uh, oh, 
this fella here, an army dude. He's got clobbered. Next one is a, a little radiation dude. And then another army chap. Okay, with another loot bag. Thank you very much. Um, so hang on. If we, yeah, that's the room we were in, wasn't it? So we keep it's all about that little bag. That bag's pointing us towards each area. That has all the remains in it. But this is it, it seems. And there we have. Although I hear someone, uh, we have probably our exit. Let's quickly break on through and see. I reckon I hear someone. Uh, it must be someone upstairs trying to trying to come down and kill us. Yep, here they come. Oh, they have. They whoa. They have actually broken out whatever's going on here. The bit of mud or something that is uh, stopping us getting down here. So let's do the loot, shall we? A lovely little bunker. A great place to kind of make home for sure. You can get a lot of resources from all of this stuff, can't you? Bits of trash. Here we go. Chemistry sets coming out of the ears. We'll have some acid. We'll have some more bits and bobs. Look, another two over here. And um, here's another one. Yep. And uh, another one here. And look at that in the distance, more acid. There's two acids I've got so far. And one over here. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? So what do we have? We have a parcel gas box, which is very nice. We have a cracker book, two, which we will... Lovely thing to read, isn't it? These also are normally full of books as well, these Mo Powers. So we go in here and we see, yeah, books and parts. Very nice indeed. This has got a basic sensor schematic. And the car parts have got, ooh, a knife schematic. Very good indeed. And then we have getting our lockpicks out or hitting this for a long time. We're eventually going to, boom, open this one up and find in this tier three a bunch of juicy bits and bobs. What a POI. There's even some shells here. And these can give us, look at that, more medical shelves. Blooming heck. There is no doubt you will cure yourself if you have an ailment and you want to uh, find somewhere or put down on a bit of a list for when you're playing, where do I find medical supplies? This old Spanish house is amazing. Now, I don't think I've missed anything. It kind of feels a bit weird, but there we go. And look at this. We have a little, uh, a little exit here. There's a little hole here. So... What can we do? Can we cheese this? Can we get down there? It is simply um, a hole straight down. Is there a way that we can remember how to get down to this part? Dig a hole, hopefully get rid of a couple of zombies, and we will be sorted with a super cheese in day one mode. Um, we'll interact with this fella right now. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to jump up here and have a look at the roof. Make sure there's nothing hidden away at the top. There is a little purse up here. Very cool. So if you feel the need to come up here, you will find $17 and some more medical supplies. Um, and that's about it. Well, what a what a little POI. It's, uh, it's small on the outside, but it's big on the inside. Can we cheese it and grab that loot on day one mode? Back at the old Spanish house with this mailbox at the front. In day one mode, not a point spent on the character. And it would be rude if I didn't, uh, you know, take a few extra bits and bobs as part of the cheese. And, oh, I missed this car, didn't I, when I went through it just now? Um, well, there is a car available sometimes, and I will have all of those bits and bobs. Any luck with some eggs for me? Nope, just some feathers, but that's okay. Now, what we're looking for is a, not this fella and not this fella. Guys, I'm trying to make a video. Yeah? You're just getting them away, aren't you? You, you're going to get the old axe to the face. Axe! 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 Yeah! Out of stamina. If you're ever out of stamina, just walk backwards. It's fine. It'll catch up with you. Then you can go for that final clobber and get rid of those dudes. So, what are we looking for? We're looking for the front of the house. You come on in. Here's the pathway. We're looking at the side here. We're looking just after this little bit of a notch. And we are walking straight down here looking for this. Uh, but I'll clear some of these bits of fibres out of the way. Can you see that there's an area that looks just a little bit funny? And as you walk over it, and it kind of feels like a bit of a divot. I don't know if it's my imagination. Maybe. But this is the area where the hole is. So we kind of... You could always... Also, This also helps too if you can't see it. I've done this before. You kind of come up high and have a look around. And it becomes much more obvious. This little region. So we do actually need um, a shovel as such. So let me magic one of them up. And there we go. We've got a magic shovel. So let's get digging. Um, what we're actually going to do is a weird one with this cheese. We're going to try and wake the zombies up because it's a little bit easier. There you go. What a shot. Perfect. Um, because we want to uh, we want to tackle them. We, 
whatever we do, they wake up when you go into the place. So if you can wake them up early, um, then it becomes a little bit easier to, to kill them. So let me take out both sides of these. This helps when you want to get up and down out of these, especially if you want to run away, if it all gets a bit too hectic. So once you've got rid of these three, then we have our little um, way in. So I'm now going to head on downstairs, not crouched or anything. I'm just going to see if these guys wake up. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Sometimes they do ah, Sometimes they do wake up and sometimes they don't. I like them to wake up because if they do, then this barrier is in the way. And you simply come down here and whack them in the legs a few times. But now we're in tier 1 mode. And it's been a long time since I've been here in tier 1. We might actually have some really you know, basic level zombie. So let's see what is possible. Can we even use our bow and arrow to get some headshots in? But all this lovely loot is literally to my left. So if they haven't woken up, I'm going into crouchy crouch mode and we're going to see what we can do. We do have a, uh, we have one dude there. We do have a military guy. They don't seem to be waking up as they come in. So I might try something completely different. Let me go to my frames. And I'm going to change these frames into some funky stairs. Let's try stairs filled diagonal one. That sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to stick a couple of those in here. Um, and I'm going to slowly walk up here so I don't stop crouching. Maybe one there and maybe one there. And this is going to allow me, without standing up at all, to get right up on top of here. And now look at that. I am seeing some serious heads. This is working out better than I thought. So staying crouched still. Um, I'm going to get this on there and cross my fingers. We're going to blow that guy's face off. And we're going to get this guy. Now this guy probably won't die straight away. But... No, oh my god, with that three and a half damage, it did. What a cheese, I can't believe it. Oh, there is another. There is another. Can I, can I? Um, Might use another block. Just help myself here so I don't have to stand up. Good, good, good. It's all working out so far. Come on, nice and quiet, nice and quiet. Ooh, get across. Oh, well, this will have to do. I'm still crouched. I can see the head. Oh, he did not go down. Can I get another one in? He is down now, and then one more for luck. Pop! He is dead. So there we go. Four arrows. Oh, I'm getting one back from him. No back from anyone else, I don't think. But we'll pick up our frames, and there we go. We have a cheese. Now, in here, there is a zombie that also sometimes wakes up. So I'm going to stay crouched, and we're going to knock on through all these different things here, and then we shall see what we have. Right, so I've broken through everything. You can use lock picks here, or you could... Uh, you know, basically get hitting. And we have a Shamway box, which has some gorgeousness in it. In fact, we'll just pick them all up as we always do and have a look when we're back outside. Oh, we do, we do. We have one iron desk, very nice bit of plastic, and we are in there. So with a bit of cobble too, we are laughing. So I don't care if they wake up, you can do what you want. Down this end, we have a nice uh, locked, well, not locked for us, but a closed door, which is very nice. But there we are. If you're worried, lock that door behind you. Up you come. We are out. We are cheesed. We have won. Absolutely brilliant. What a wonderful POI, the good old Spanish house. So let's press tab, put everything in order and have a look at what we got. Shotgun shells, bar brawling volume six, rangers, uh, guide to archery six, bit of padded gloves, um, some, some food and drink, three acid uh, fuel, and you can see the rest, even a beaker. And an iron fire axe. And two of those should really be in my hot bar for when I get whacked around. Uh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic and well, well worth it. So let's get the old whoosh, uh, the cheeseometer out. And let's see what we get. Look at there. No money bag this time. There is a little bag up there. So plenty for you to get. Plenty of you to kind of uh, be interested in. Look at this. Is there anything up here? No, 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 no. But maybe that's a way up, actually. I don't know. That might have been a way up. And is that... Did I open that up before? I don't know. It looks like there's a bag underneath the floor there. I think I did. Anyway, brilliant. Cheeseometer says... <laughs> Cheeseometer says... Three! I think it's worth a three out of four. I'm not going to give it four out of four. Even though I did it really easily, I've had them wake up before on the way down. So there is a bit of challenge there. And also, it's quite difficult to uh, sometimes locate this hole. But I'm sure you can do it. And it's well worth doing next time you're at this POI. Tons of stuff to be had, even on day one. So if you find it, enjoy it, loot it. And there we go. So... 
the Physics Playground is out here. Let's have a quick fly around. You can join me three days a week whilst we go through every single POI. I have tips and tricks. I have live streams. It all goes on. So what have you got to do? You know, hit the buttons and all that business. I'll see you later. Goodbye.